Holy cow. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm genuinely so excited about this shot. Aha! All right, so in a bit of a rush today. Um, I've overslept slightly, uh, but planning to head off down to Bruni. So, um, driving down south to try and catch the ferry. There's uh, a nice national park down south there. I know, I also know that Bruni is quite famous for um, its albino wallabies. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for those. So I've just arrived at the ferry. Um, just sitting in a queue of cars at the moment, waiting to get on. So, I was just going, um, the ferry stopped. I went to turn on the car and nothing happened. Uh, tried a number more times, still nothing happened. Eventually, uh, one of the guys came over, uh, plugged something into my battery, turned it on and it worked. So, uh, I'm gonna drive right down to the southern tip and I am gonna unplug everything from the car because that's never happened before and I do not want to happen it, it to happen again whilst I'm on Broody Island. <laughs> so I just saw a bird, pulled over, Stopped the car automatically, and then I had a horrible moment whilst I waited for it to start again. It did, thankfully. <laughs> well, isn't that absolutely stunning? What a place. It's not quite my final destination, but look at this place. What a view. Hello, welcome to South Bruni National Park. Um, I'm right down at the southern end of Bruni Island here. There's some gorgeous forests and eucalypts with quite a dense understory. You can see one of the larger eucalypts up there. I'm not going to do the whole walk because it's five to six hours and I do have some other places I want to go to, but I'm just going to go for a wander through and see what I can find. So this is the southern tip of Bruni Island. The water you can see there is the Dontracastro Channel, and the land just beyond it, that's mainland Tasmania. Heading back to the car now. Um, this place is beautiful, but I'm not gonna do the five hour circuit. So just finished with South Bruni. Um, moving on to the next place. So I've just arrived at a place on Bruni, which I know gets 40 spotted pardalote. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pay the entrance fee, and I'm gonna have a look, so fingers crossed. Banjo frogs. In this tree over here, I just had one of Tasmania's more common species, the New Holland honey eater. New Holland being the former name of Australia. You know those moments where you're walking along, looking at the treetops, not really paying attention to the ground? Hello. <laughs> A snake just went in that bush. So whether or not there's a partload here, and I think I might have seen some, not sure. There are so many bird species. We've got the fairy wrens, um, I've just seen a beautiful fire tail flapping away. We've got the various swallows and tree martins. What an amazing spot. So close that I can't even focus on them. But look at those fairy wrens.
had a moment of relief there when I started up my car, but it actually did start after this morning. I think that's going to be a regular thing from now on. Um, no luck today on the 40 spotted part alone. I uh, was keeping an eye out, but just not the day for it. I will put a photo um, from my portfolio of one I got another time that I'm really proud of. That said though, those fairy wrens were adorable. Um, I spent quite a lot of time just standing there and watching them. Um, and they really came quite close. I think I've got some shots I'm really proud of with those, so I'm so excited to have a look at them. Mm, so good. Sweet, just a little bundle of sugar like the best berries are. So I'm just driving out of Adventure Bay now. Um, I love it here, it's gorgeous, there's some lovely forest, but I think I want to head on to the neck. Um, so that's just about 20 minutes that way. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna head down there, see what I can find. Um, so I do at times feel like a bit of a creep standing in someone's front yard with an 800 millimeter lens. I tried to get some video with my camera. Because these native hens, they were just in someone's front yard. That's going to be shaky, and I tried setting up the tripod, but they ran away. So I think this is the best you're going to get for now. Um, on the grass there. But I think I got some photos. Well, my shoes are covered. My shoes and socks are covered in buzzies. These things itch like hell. But look at this. I can't wait to get that home. Holy cow. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm genuinely so excited about this shot. Aha. So, welcome to a random beat track now I was driving along. I saw a swamp harrier and I saw a little spot to pull over. Uh, so I decided to pull over here. Unfortunately, um, the swamp harrier has flown off as they always do. But look at this beach, it's stunning. Um, so, I think my plan is to see if there's anything here. I can see a bunch of birds way out there, but the tide's out at the moment, so they're a long way off. But if I sit here, if I find, or even if I find somewhere, the right spot to sit, one of them might come my way. So we've got a bunch of white faced heron out here. Um, they were much too far away at the moment to get any photos, but fingers crossed, I'm hoping that one of them will come close enough. And so I'm going to be sitting here for a while. Bunch of raven flying over there. Coming quite close, but not close enough. I think this is such a cool idea. A little bin for you to put any plastics you might find on the beach in. Awesome. So, just driving back from North Bruny, uh, now back towards the ferry. Uh, it's a lovely spot up here, but um, a lot less touristy, which I really like. Um, but I didn't really see all that much wildlife, and it's been quite a long day to be honest. Um, it's now getting on to 4 o'clock and I started about 6. So, I think I'm going to head back towards the ferry and start the trek home. I found some um, Tasmanian olive oil. Which I'm quite excited to try out. Um, but yeah, on the way home. And there goes the ferry. So I've missed the boat on that one, but that means I've got a little while here, so I'm gonna see what I can find. What I found in the end is a lemon slice and a spinach and feta roll. Um, end of a long day. I've had an absolutely awesome time here on Bruni. Um, those uh, turbo trucks were just awesome to see. I've not really, I've seen chicks before, they've always been so skittish. Getting to see them up really close and get some photos was a real, really special moment. Um, yeah, what an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching um, and I might see you next time.